You want to get Minecraft mods? We're going to show you how to get any Minecraft mod in 1.21.10, whether it's Forge, whether it's Fabric, whether it's Neo Forge. First things first, you want to get Curse Forge. This is a launcher that allows you to install all of those different mod loaders and all of the different mods easily. So what we want to do is go to this link. It's the second one down below, and it will take you here, where you want to scroll down and click Download Curse Forge to go to the official download page. Click Download Standalone here, and the download will begin. You will need to keep or save the file. Then we want to minimize our browser, and then in our Downloads folder, we'll have CurseForge. We can go ahead and double-click on that to open up the CurseForge installer. This installs like any other program. Click Next. Go ahead and agree to the Terms of Service, assuming that you do. Click Next, and it will now download and install CurseForge all in one go. You want to go ahead and make sure that this is not checked and then click finish, and it will open CurseForge. If it doesn't, there is a desktop icon that you can double click to launch CurseForge. Now, by default, Minecraft will be grayed out here. Go ahead and click on it, and then click standard and continue, and then we'll get things set up for CurseForge. Now what we want to do is actually create a mod pack, which I know is a little weird. You're, you're not making a mod pack, but you are. A mod pack really is just a pack of mods. You don't have to make this public or anything, but it's going to let you select the mods you want. Now, for the mod pack name, you can name it anything. We will name this our mod tutorial because that's what it is and then for the version you'll select 1.21.10 then you want to select the mod loader that you want forge fabric or neo forge again all of these work out of the box and you're not locked into one but you can't have neo forge and fabric mods together for example you have to have one or the other you can't have both at the same time i would recommend going with fabric most of the time these days most mods are supporting fabric so we can go ahead and click create here and now this is where we can start adding our mods to do that click the add content button here and all of these mods are compatible and will just work, which is one of the coolest things about adding mods and getting Minecraft mods this way versus other methods. In the past, we've had to download the mod loader and individual mods that way. You just go through here. You can click install on Waystones, for example. You can get Xero's mini map. Go ahead and grab the world map as well. You can then go ahead and scroll down and grab Irish shaders because we want to add shaders to this. We can also grab the connected textures mod here because why not? You can add any of these that you want. Now, it is possible that you add two things that completely conflict and if that's the case we have guides on how to fix minecraft mod crashes how to fix broken minecraft mods all of that stuff but you can see we've already got eight mods here and what's really cool is that waystones for example requires a mod called bomb it installed it right away we didn't have to do anything if you wanted to add shader packs by the way for iris shaders you can do that by clicking shaders there we'll install a few of these but again we just click on shaders and then add content you can install resource packs this way as well and all of this comes together to basically make installing this stuff super easy to do all in one area now what we need to do to actually get it all to work is actually play minecraft and by the way like i said if you wanted to use a neoforge profile as well you could create that so we could create a neoforge profile and do everything we just did with fabric with neoforge adding mods all of that stuff but we don't need to do that because we already have the fabric profile Go ahead and click play on it. The Minecraft launcher is going to open up. While that's opening, I do want to mention that if you want to play these Minecraft mods with your friends, make a modded server, our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, makes that super easy. You can easily add mods to the server, mod packs to the server, and plugins customizing your server any way that you want. And there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. Let's say you add something to your server. For example, you add a mod to the server and the server breaks. It's no longer starting. Live chat support there is there to help you out and get your server back online and working exactly as you want it so don't struggle to host a minecraft server play minecraft with your friends the simple way the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh now we do need to sign in with our microsoft account here so we'll go ahead and do that once you've signed in it's as easy as going to minecraft job edition clicking play and clicking play again and there you go it will now open up with any mods you wanted installed and good to go in game we can see that our mini map is active in the top left we can go into video settings and turn on our shader pack here and we also will have for example we are in creative if we open this up we have all of our waystones here that for example we can place down and set up so if you've got any questions let us know in the comments but you now know how to add minecraft mods to 1.21.10 we'll see you in the next video and i'm out peace